Here to talk about the path forward for sports and baseball is Tom Ricketts, the chairman and co-owner of the Chicago Cubs, and he joins us from Wrigley Field, and it is great to have you, sir. Welcome. Uh, it's good to be here. As you can see, uh, Wrigley Field is not quite being used what we uh, we expected to use it for this year. Instead of uh, instead of playing the Marlins tonight, we have turned the, the ballpark into uh, the largest food pantry in Chicago with our partners at uh, Lakeview Pantry. Yeah, which is so, fantastic. Um, yeah, we hear so much about food insecurity right now. The lines for some of these food pantries have been insane. So at least that, you know, gives a, an important community function in the meantime. And then everybody, Tom, yeah. is saying, when can we expect to be back in the stadium for ball games? Or, or can fans expect at all to be back in the stadium this year? Will there be games? What are the players going to accept? I mean, there, there are some big stumbling blocks here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of questions. I think everyone in, is uh, intent on getting baseball back on the field, even if it is without fans. But there's a lot. Of, there's a lot that goes into that. I mean, first and foremost is the safety of the players and the other people that need to be in the park during the games, even if there aren't fans. And um, you know, the, the league has put together a very thorough uh, safety protocol, 67 pages. It's being reviewed by the teams. Uh, it's being reviewed by the players union. Uh, hopefully that will get to that will get to the point that everyone is comfortable with it and comfortable that we have a safe work environment. Um, hopefully that will be uh, enough to get each of the local uh, jurisdictions, the different states or cities to sign off so that um, so everyone will feel like it's a safe enough right. place for our players and personnel to go. And uh, then we have to you know work through the finances of it all. Right, and that's so, going to be tricky because the, the economics are super interesting here. I mean, if 70% of the revenues, in some cases, I think like yours, come from game day sales, and now all of a sudden you're not going to have fans, well, if you play those games, don't get that revenue and have to pay the players, you're going to be in a huge hole. So are you trying to figure out a way to pay the players, you know, a lower percentage maybe, you know, something to say, hey, you know, we appreciate you, you are here, um, or does it have to, are they saying, no, it has to be 100% for us to show up? I mean, this gets really interesting. Well, that is the discussion. I mean, ultimately, the, the league uh, as a whole is looking at about $4 billion of losses, and that's particularly hard on like teams like the Cubs. As you say, we do get 70% of our revenue from tickets, parking, concessions, game day activities, and only about 30% of our revenue from media. Um, and that's only, and only part of that is national media, so like the local television that we do. Now, we've already lost half that season, so in a best-case scenario, you know, we're looking at you know, recovering maybe 20% of our total income. Um, so that that is where the rub is, and that's where the, where the discussions will, will so go with the players over the next few weeks. My, my question is, would you even want a season under those conditions, or would it be better for you to say, you know what, this year Wrigley Field is a food pantry? Well, hopefully it can be uh, a no-fan ballpark and a food pantry at the same time. But the, um, uh, you know, we'll have to see how it goes, but, but we'd definitely like to see baseball back. We'd like to see... Um, like to see the team back on the field. I know the players want to play. I, I, I know the manager wants to manage. And I know, um, I know even if it's on television only, I think people want to see baseball back. What, what would you say in terms of what some of the other sports are considering? You know, the NBA is reportedly looking at maybe putting everybody in Disney, kind of the bubble, or what are they calling it, the campus experience. I think baseball has been looking at maybe some regional um, opportunities to, to sort of clusters where people would – they're only allowed, I think, to take the bus back and forth. There's no locker rooms. I mean, behind the scenes, this would be a very, very different experience. Well, the NBA and the NHL have a totally different set of facts. I mean, they got through about 80% of their season. So, um, you know, they can, they can finish up with a tournament or just play some games in one location and kind of wrap that up. We're very different. We didn't even start. So, I mean, the financial impact on baseball is, is even more dramatic than on the other sports. But as you talk about the schedule... Uh, I think the league is being thoughtful and creative about ways to get, um, you know, to get get us playing again with schedules that maybe involve a little less travel. Um, but we want to play in our own ballparks. We don't want to play in a, in a tournament mm -hmm. setting like uh, like the NHL or NBA are looking at. So, um, but hopefully that will, you know, we're, those those discussions are ongoing, and hopefully pretty soon we'll have some resolution on that. What would you say, just kind of best guess, is that we have a baseball season this year and that we have it as soon as even July 4th? I mean, is that out of the question? No, it's not out of the question at all. Uh, it really comes down to um, how quickly and efficiently the, uh, you know, the, the league and the union can get together and kind of hack through the, the, the issues. 
Right. And how much maybe the players are willing to accept to show up and, and so on and so forth. Well, we know the damage. Certainly one of the issues, yeah. Yeah. And the financial losses. Yeah, I know you guys, those are going to be issues for, for another year, but they're certainly going to be a big headache. Uh, Tom, thanks very much for joining me today. Good luck with it. And thanks at least for doing what you're doing in the meantime, you know, serving the community. We appreciate it. Uh